this. Not a Dinwiddie one. He'll shoot and he buries it. Spencer Dinwiddie taking Utah's heart. NBA fans, what's good? You are now rocking with the best. Ro Parrish here in Studio B. It is game time presented by Kia. We just witnessed the Dallas Mavericks take back the home court. They get the victory over the Utah Jazz. The series is now 2-1. No Luka. No problem, because you got guys balling like Max Kleber, who has 17. You have uh, the one and only Mr. Brunson, who again had a huge game. So let's just put all that aside. You, you got the facts. The, the question is, Coach, I'm going to come to you first. Do the Dallas Mavericks even need Luka to win <laughs> this series? You have the floor. Ro, they may not. And the, all the, the more they win, the, the, the easier it makes for Jason Kidd and that coaching staff and that medical staff to make a decision because now Luca has two more days. Right? He has two more days to keep testing that calf, to keep getting ready. And if, if, if he's not 100% or close to where he's comfortable and he can go play without fear, they can give him another few days because if you're looking at this series right now, if you're playing the way you're playing without Luca, look, everyone had picked Dallas to win this series anyway. If you're doing this without Luca, <laughs> you can only imagine when and if he comes back. But right now, you may not even need him. And and the longer they can let him rest and that thing heal up and get closer to 100% possible, the better they're going to be to make a deep run come deep run this playoffs. Indeed, and go ahead and, and pull out your mobile device like mine here and hold it up to your, your, your camera, excuse me, to your television or wherever you're watching us and, and let it be known what do you think. So that question is on your screen right now and I bring that same question back to you. Well, at the beginning of the season, and, and this was kind of the knock on the Mavs last year, they were so Luka based that, you know, Last season, he got tired when the seven-game series didn't have enough to finish the series. So when Jason came in, it was about making it more about other guys and, and getting Luca help. Now we're seeing what that looks like with him off the court. You know, we got Spencer Dinwiddie that's stepping up and playing major minutes and, and delivering. We got Jalen Brunson that's playing at a high time level. Maxi Kleber has, has showed up. Uh, the bench showed up way bigger than they did the other night and, and playing well. So now you have to worry about a team rather than just one guy. So I think they could definitely win this series without him. It's obviously going to be easier once he comes back. But the way they're playing right now, the way they're shooting and defending, and the way Utah is, is not adjusting to what they're doing, yes, they can win this game. Oh, yeah. Indeed, they can. The Mavericks, 49 points off the bench. They get the series right now back in control. A 2-1 lead as they win 126 to 118. As I mentioned, 49 points off the bench. 17 of those points came from their sharp shooter off the bench. Maxi Kleba, again, a huge game. Man, 